Hello! In this video you will learn how to use the VLOOKUP function in Excel. We will be using the employment data set for these examples. There are many situations in which you might want to look up a specific piece of information on a particular record in a database. Similarly, you might want to perform specific transformations on a variable according to special criteria for that record in the data set. If your data are arranged so that records are in rows and variables are in columns, then Excel's VLOOKUP function may just be the perfect tool. The VLOOKUP or vertical lookup function takes the following form in Excel. Enter the function name VLOOKUP. Then inside the parentheses are four arguments. First, enter the cell reference or lookup value where VLOOKUP will get the value it is looking for. Second, enter the data range or table array where VLOOKUP will search for the value from the first argument. By default, the table array should have two or more columns and the first column should contain a list of the unique lookup values. Third, enter which column of the table array or column index number, where VLOOKUP should go to find the result. Finally, the last argument, range lookup, determines if VLOOKUP will accept an approximate match on the lookup value, or if an exact match is needed. If this argument is true, or omitted, then VLOOKUP will take an approximate match. If an exact match is not found, VLOOKUP will use the next largest value that is smaller than the lookup value. For this reason, the table array should be sorted in ascending order of the lookup values. If range lookup is false, then VLOOKUP will only accept an exact match. I'll begin this example by showing you how to use VLOOKUP to find the employee information simply by entering a company ID number. We'll start by setting up an area to hold the results. Click on cell I1 and enter ID number. Then in cell J1, enter first name. And finally in cell K1, enter last name. Now we can create the first of two VLOOKUPs. Click on cell J2 and enter the following formula. Equals VLOOKUP, open parentheses. Our lookup value will be in cell I2 and I'll use F4 to make that an absolute reference. Then our table array will be the absolute reference for the range A2 to H101. The column index number will be 2. And we'll set range lookup to false. After you enter the formula, cell J2 has the pound NA indicator. This happens because cell I2 does not contain an ID number for VLOOKUP to use at this time. Click on cell I2 and enter 330. Now you can see that cell J2 contains the name Virginia, the first name of employee 330. Here, VLOOKUP begins with the ID number we enter in cell I2. Then, VLOOKUP examines the table array A2 to H101. In the formula, we include the dollar signs to make the lookup value and table array absolute references. Notice that the ID number is the first column in the table, and the data have been sorted in ascending order by IDs. VLOOKUP then searches through this first column for ID 330. Finally, using the data in the table array for ID 330, VLOOKUP returns the value contained in the second column, 
This is the employee's first name. Also notice that we set the range lookup to false. This way, if we enter an ID number that does not exist, VLOOKUP will re return an error instead of some other employee's data. If I enter ID number 100, we get pound NA as an error sign in first name. That's because there is no employee 100. We can go back to 330 and we get the first name Virginia again. If we change the value in cell I2 to 524, you will see that the first name of the employee changes to reflect the new ID number for Gary. Now let's pull some additional data from our table using VLOOKUP. Copy and paste the formula from cell J2 to K2. Control C to copy and Control V to paste. Next, change the column index number from 2 to 3. This tells VLOOKUP to return the data contained in the third column of the table array, the employee last name. Now we have both the first and last name of employee ID 524, Gary Myers. If we change the ID number in cell I2 to 818, we get the data for Christopher Howard. Using this type of VLOOKUP formula, you can pull data on any employee simply by entering their employee ID number. You can expand the number of fields to include additional pieces of information as well, such as their hiring dates or salaries. In these examples, the lookup value was part of the table array. This doesn't always need to be the case. Let's go through an example where we have a separate table for the table array. Insert a new column between columns H and I by right-clicking on the column I header and selecting the insert option. Click on cell I1 and label the column New Salary. Now click on cell J5 and enter Position. Then in cell K5, enter Raise. In cells J6 through J9, enter the following. Administration, Executive, Operations, and Sales. These are our four different employee positions in the data set. Then in cells K6 through K9, enter the amounts 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.15, and 0 0.05. We now have a new table array showing the proportion raise that employees in each type of position will receive. Click on cell I2 and enter the following formula. Equals G2 times open parentheses 1 plus VLOOKUP F2 this is our lookup value. The table array is J6 to K9, and I made that an absolute reference. Our column index number is 2. Close parentheses, close parentheses. This formula starts with each employee's current salary in column G. It then uses the employee position in column F as the lookup value for the table of raises we created. Finally, VLOOKUP returns the proportion raise for each position, adds it to 1, and then multiplies the result by each employee's current salary. The value returned in column I represents the employee's new salary after receiving the raise. Now if we copy the formula down column I, 
I'll just do some of these here. You will see the new salary for each employee with the correct raise applied for their position in the company. VLOOKUP can be used in this way to make transformations to your data set or work with the results from statistical analyses such as regression model coefficients. This has been an example of using the VLOOKUP function in Excel. I'll see you in the next video.